signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're doing. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Get ready to save us. Here he comes again. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more I can't than believe it. You're I don't know Dragonborn. The Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad in the very oldest tales, back from when back there were still White dragons right in Skyrim, the, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and here. steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? 
<clears throat> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn then. I ain't done nothing. Spare a coin for a poor man. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Mane. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you.
It is the power of oh. the voice of the dragonborn. <coughs> Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You... So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeard. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybeseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Lead the way. I've got your back. I am at your command.
Lead on. <laughs>